Well, hello, Michael here. Looking today at Psalms 28, specifically verse 1 for the exposition. Psalm which is subtitled, The Lord is my strength and my shield. And verse 1 reads, To you, O Lord, I call. My rock be not deaf to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. And so we look at uh, the treasury of David uh, for the exposition, as written by Charles Spurgeon. Verse 1. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. A cry is the natural expression of sorrow, and it is a suitable utterance when all the modes of appeal fail us. But the cry must be alone directed to the Lord, for to cry to man is to waste our entreaties upon the air. When we consider the readiness of the Lord to hear and his ability to aid, we shall see good reason for directing all our appeals at once to the God of our salvation, and shall use language of firm resolve like that in the text, I will cry. The immutable Jehovah is our rock, the immovable foundation of all our hopes and our refuge in time of trouble. We are fixed in our determination to flee to him as our stronghold in every hour of danger. It will be in vain to call to the rocks in the day of judgment, but our rock attends to our cries. Be not silent to me. Mere formalists may be content without answers to their prayers, but genuine supplicants cannot. They are not satisfied with the result of prayers itself in calming the mind and subduing the will. They must go further and obtain actual replies from heaven, or they cannot rest. And those replies they long to receive at once, if possible. They dread even a little of God's silence. God's voice is often so terrible that it shakes the wilderness, but his silence is equally full of awe to an eager suppliant. When God seems to close his ear, we must not therefore close our mouths, but rather cry with more earnestness. For when our note grows shrill with eagerness and grief, he will not long deny us a hearing. What a dreadful case should we be if the Lord should become forever silent to our prayers. This thought suggested itself to David, and he turned it into a plea, thus teaching us to argue and reason with God in our prayers. Lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Deprived of the God who answers prayers, we should be in a more pitiable plight than the dead in the grave, and should soon sink to the same level as the lost in hell. We must have answers to prayers. Ours is an urgent case of dire necessity. Surely the Lord will speak peace to our agitated minds, for he can never find it in his heart to permit his own elect to perish. Trust you enjoyed the exposition on verse 1 of Psalms 28. Michael here declaring yet again, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed.